Hey everyone! Yesterday I turned 31, so I made a video 31 life lessons that I've learned in 31 years, and it was a pretty cool video, except for one thing, it turned out to be much longer than I would have liked. So uh, today I'm remaking this video, but shortened, summarized, and straight to the point. So without further ado, 31 life lessons that I've learned in 31 years, fast version. Let's go! Number one is that uh, no advice will fit for every person and every situation. If you heard of a wonderful advice that can help you, and even if it works for all your friends and people around you, it might not work for you. But, and that's point number two, general rules exist. If you hear something that is recommended by a, a lot of people, you should probably try it, because more often than not, it's gonna be legit. Number three, number three is kind of important and overlooked, is that um, you are not defined by your opinions and your tastes, whether it is in, in music or movies or political opinions or all that shit. In a, in a few years, you will remember your old opinions and beliefs and, and re realize that they did not matter that much and they, they did not make who you really are. Your interactions with the world, your interactions with other people, that is what is really you, not your thoughts or opinions or, uh, you know, beliefs. Number four is that it's okay to let go. Losing friends is a normal part of growing up and changing your mind about things is also a normal part of life. So don't stick too much to, to your old opinions just because you used to have them. And if you feel like you're changing your mind, it's usually because of a good reason. And if people in your life have become toxic to you, if you don't feel comfortable in a relationship anymore, a friendship or love relationship, it's fine and it's normal to let go of these relationships. And number five is when you let go of a relationship, whether it is love or friendship or even work, don't burn bridges. Do not burn bridges. Never do that. Be courteous and maybe just stop talking to the people that you don't want to talk uh, anymore. Usually that does the trick. People are connected to each other, they, they talk, uh, information spreads and also it can be a bad sign of character for you to uh, just uh, insult people that is gonna make hard to attract new people in your life or to get new jobs because what is there to say that you are not gonna do the same and say the same about these new people these new employers these new lovers in a few months or years so don't talk shit about past relationships and when you let go, when you have to part ways with someone, do it smoothly, it's as smooth as possible. Lesson number six, always remember that talent and inspiration are bullshit, meaningless words and they just mean work and dedication. Anybody can be talented in anything if they put enough hours of work and practice into it. Even if you are shitty at something at first, as Jake the Dog said in Adventure Time, sucking at something is the first step to being sorta of good at something. So don't tell people who you think are talented that they have a natural talent, that they are born for something, that uh, it comes to them naturally, because it's really a slap in the face, a denial of all the thousands of hours of work and practice that they have likely put into their craft. Lesson number seven is that you are never really ready for anything. There is never a better time than now and if you wait you're always gonna regret it and a thing that you should not have waited. You're never really ready so if you want to do something do it now. Point number eight is that there are two important parts of doing stuff. It's starting and finishing. Don't worry too much about the rest. Don't worry too much about the middle, the means, the time it's gonna take. Start things. You wanna start now. 
make drafts that's important because you cannot edit an idea but you can always edit a draft point number nine is never be embarrassed with the years you are going to realize that other people care much more about your successes than your mistakes they remember not your failures but your wins we all make mistakes and we all say dumb shit and we all fall down what is important is not the fall is how you get up number 10 is that not thinking enough about things is bad but overthinking is way worse it's always better to do things without enough thought that than with too much it can be a real hindrance of our thinking and it can be a real waste of time always remember that practice trumps theory 100% of the time and doing things in the end is what really matters number 11 is that regret is always worse than remorse regret is not doing something that you wanted and thinking about it lately and it causes you pain and remorse is doing something that you should not have done and thinking about it lately and it causes you pain and uh, the pain of regret is a hundred times worse than the pain of remorse try to live your life in a way that will leave you with no regrets because regrets are the worst things that can happen to you number 12 nose hair it's a problem because it can stick out and be ugly it can tickle your nose and be really distracting and a problem with concentration and also when you really have a lot of it it's a problem just for breathing it's not just a problem for old people for old men uh, it started to be a problem for me when I was in my early 20s and by the time I was 25 it was unbearable so uh, yeah buy a nose hair trimmer these things are cheap they work good and it's not something to be ashamed about you have too much nose hair do something about it don't think twice 13 if at some point in your life or in your day you have the feeling that everyone around you is an asshole it's likely that it's you the asshole if uh, at some point you have the feeling that everyone around you is a problem then obviously you are the problem and you should uh, it's time to do some serious introspection probably or talk about it with your friends number 14 uh, there's a thing with dating where a lot of people are trying to date to get in a relationship with people they know really well and that they are friends with and I've tried that a bunch of times in my life and it never worked well and if you get into a relationship with a friend and they become your lover uh, when it's time to part ways you're gonna lose your lover and your friend in my opinion try to meet more strangers like on dating sites or a friend of a friend of a friend that you just met at a party if you find them cool and attractive uh, try to get in bed with them and if it went really well and if they find you really cool and you find them really cool try to get in a relationship with these people that's what I do most of the time and it works really really well for me and it uh, and it brought a, a lot of great relationships uh, to me number 15 when you have things to do always start by the easiest stuff first a lot of advice for like uh, businessmen always tell you to do the opposite uh, and people call that uh, bite the turtle or some stupid expression like that and I found out that it really does not work for me it makes me feel overwhelmed whether I'm doing music or sports it's better for me if I do a lot of warming up I mean it's, it's a normal thing to do warming up right so if you got stuff to do what better way to warm up than by doing something useful so if you got something easy to do like a lot of laundry and something medium to do like doing the dishes and something hard to do like filing your taxes do them in that order uh, I found out that this was the best way for me to stay motivated and to do more number 16 is that it's great to be thrifty but you shouldn't be thrifty for the things that matter to you uh, if you don't care about fashion yeah buy these one dollar shirts at Walmart if you are not a foodie yeah only eat uh, rice and pasta 
but if you are into making music save up to buy that really good guitar that you really want if you are into uh, painting save up to buy this these good paints and brushes i guess the the real point is uh it's useless wasting money on stuff that don't matter to you number 17 is that it's never shameful to ask for help when you think you need it. Uh, asking for help is a normal part of life. We live in a society which is supposed to help each other. You need help, ask for it. Try not to ask the same people all the time, but um, yeah, it does not make people feel used if you do it uh, at a reasonable uh, rate. It's actually, it shows them that you trust them and that you, you value them and you, you think they're they are able to help you, it's more a compliment than anything else and it often uh, leads to good memories. Number 19 is that you should always enjoy the little things in life because sooner than later you're gonna realize that they were the big things. Number 18, uh, stay hydrated. A lot of times you are kind of tired and you don't know why, you feel weird, you feel that something is missing, uh, you, you kind of feel hungry but not really and you don't know what to eat. At this point it's always a good idea to have a nice tall glass of water. There's been a kind of a urban legend that says that uh, coffee does not hydrate you as much as uh, plain water does, but that's absolute bullshit. Uh, if you prefer coffee, have coffee. Uh, everything that can hydrate you is good. Uh, coffee, tea, milk, light beer, uh, even juice. Uh, don't drink juice all day long because it contains a lot of fructose, which is really toxic for your liver and can lead to diabetes quite easily. Uh, worse than soda, yep. But uh, drink something that has a lot of water in it. Tomato juice is a, is a great idea. Number 20, uh, your health. You only have one, and uh, there is a couple little things about health problems. Uh, the first is that when you don't take care of them, they tend to not go away. And the second is that when you don't take care of them and that they don't go away, then they tend actually to get worse and worse and worse. So, um, yeah, if you got something that even feels small, uh, take care of it, take care of it as soon as possible, whether it is a, a broken tooth or a, a weird uh, lump on your arm or something like that. Uh, the, be the, the earlier it's taken care of, the, the better your life will be and the, the, the least it's gonna end up costing you in, in money and in, in wasted time and in pain and all that. Don't wait up. Never wait up for your health. Number 21. Uh, tanning is dumb. It does not make you look good and it does not have to be an integral part of your summer life. Even if you don't get cancer, uh, it's just incredibly boring just to stay in the sun for hours every day. You should not have to think that you have to do it. Actually, a handful of decades ago, people who looked tanned looked uh, poor and not stylish. And if you want to look snazzy, you had to be as pay as possible. So uh, fashions change all the time. And I know that the being tan has been uh, trendy for uh, many, many years now, but it's it's stupid and uh, pointless. 22, life is short. If you like something, consecrate as much time as you want into it and uh, have fun. By giving in to your passions, you can only make the world a better place. If it's something that you like and it doesn't harm anybody, then give it your time, give it your uh, energy and it's always going to have positive consequences. Number 23, if you want and if you have the occasion, learn a new language or several. I read somewhere that it was a great way to avoid getting Alzheimer's because one of the causes of Alzheimer's is that not using your brain enough and learning new languages is the best way to uh, prevent getting Alzheimer's. So uh, learning a new language, it's useful because it can help you travel abroad. Uh, it's fun, it's really satisfying when you 
watching a, a, a show or listening to a song in a foreign language and you can understand it, it yeah, it's, it is a real sense of satisfaction, one of the most satisfying things I, I've done in my life. Number 24, if you don't know your calling in life, maybe it's just that you don't have one. Uh, some people have these, these big dreams, these big goals, and they are a minority. Uh, most of us folks don't have this big calling, this big dream that we uh, will have to follow to be happy in life. Just pick something that you don't hate. Uh, just pick something that you're good at. And that should be enough. If you don't know at 18 years old what you want to do in life, chances are you will never know. Don't wait for that big uh, calling, for that big dream to pop up in your head because, well, it never happened to me and it never happened to a lot of people I know. So it's it's just not for everyone. Number 25. Uh, diplomas and skills are cool, but connections are the most important thing if you want to get a job that you really want. And interactions between people are the most important thing in the work environment, in your job. 50% of any job is being nice to the right people. Number 26. Uh, merit is a bullshit word that means pretty much nothing and meritocracies are utopias. That's how it works in video games, but not in real life. You were probably never gonna earn things because of merit. That is not going to happen, you can forget about it. And deserving things, it's bullshit too. Stop wasting your time uh, thinking that you deserve some things and... and uh, that's not how it works. And also stop waste, wasting your time thinking that you don't deserve things and that it shouldn't happen to you and that you shouldn't have this girl because she's out of your league. That is, that is meaningless in real life. You don't deserve anything. You get what you can get. And if you want something, try to get it. Don't think about deserving because in real life that means nothing. Number 27, your pets. Uh, you, they are only a part of your life, but you are their whole life. Take care of them as good as you can and give them as much as you can. Give them your everything because you are everything to them. Number 28, still about your pets. Uh, chances are if you choose a conventional pet like a hamster or a dog or a cat, it's gonna live a much shorter lifespan than yours and it's gonna die before you. There are three configurations of a death of a pet. Either they are healthy and die of old age, which is awesome, Either they have an incurable disease and they die of that and you did everything that you could but the, the, the vet could not uh, cure them and that's sad but, you know, it, it shit happens. Number three, they you could have cured them but you didn't. You didn't do it in time because you thought you didn't have enough money or it could wait or, uh, you know, you, you thought it was not that bad and you did not take him to the vet, this is gonna haunt you your whole life and you're gonna beat yourself up about it. If you have a pet that is sick, take him to the vet and do all you can to prevent them from being in pain and from dying of something that they could have recovered from. Number 29. It's pointless and counterproductive to be a perfectionist. Try to do good work, not perfect work, and try to, mark, to work smart rather than hard. Hard work is kind of a stuff for losers. I'm sorry to put, that, put this harshly, but it's true. Uh, only work hard if you have no other option. Number 30, a, a really important point is that you are not special. You are not unique. And that's good because it's pointless to be special or unique. If someone is trying to to uh, tell you that you are special, that you are unique, usually they're trying to sell you something. And usually that something is useless shit. The word that we use to define who we are, the word identity, comes from the same root as identical. The identity is what we have in common with other people, not what makes us different. A lot of people nowadays are trying to get us to celebrate our differences, but th that is stupid. 
and celebrate our similarities is a much more powerful thing and much more satisfying and much more useful in a society. Um, it's better to be relatable, whether it is for something really mainstream, which is cool because you can share what you love with and what you are with a lot of people, or whether it is something rare, which is also important because you want to show off uh, your, your taste for the people who have the same tastes an opinion as you not to feel alone. Number 31, final point, is that you should not think too much about what other people say about you, but you should not ignore it altogether. Sometimes it's obvious to see a difference between haters and constructive criticism, but sometimes it's not, so you should always listen to what people say about you, but you should not let it control your life. Sometimes a lot of people are gonna tell you the same thing, and in that case that's probably gonna be true. Don't shut yourself off from criticism, but don't let criticism control your life. If you really know what you're doing and if you really know what you want, then it's, and then it's fine. But also listen to other people. They, their, the input is always valuable. Just don't let it control your life. Do uh, the balance, you know, the balance between uh, not listening and listening too much. That is important. So uh, that's it, my friends. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And if you really liked it, consider uh, subscribing to my Patreon. The link is in the video description. I hope you learn things uh, that will help you in life. Thanks for watching. Peace.